Today's book spot, we're having a look at the new Capturing Archetypes 20 Years of Sideshow Collectibles Art. With a foreword by Guillermo del Toro and an introduction by Tom Gilliland, um, this book has, well, this book will be released this month, and uh, Spot was lucky enough to get his hands on it. Uh, before I actually show you the inside of the book, let's have a look actually at the cover. You may or may not be able to tell, but the cover, the cover art of the Xenomorph is a raised surface. It's a raised surface from the rest of this gray book. It's a beautiful piece and only hinting at what you're going to be seeing on the inside of this book. I mean, Spot's kind of already gone through this book a couple of times now, and the pieces, the, the images that they put in it are absolutely gorgeous. When we flip around the back of the book there, a, a read-up says, A deluxe gallery of Sideshow Collectibles' most iconic work, capturing archetypes 20 years of Sideshow Collectibles art, showcases the stunning creations produced by one of the world's premier creators of collectible figures and statues. Featuring universally beloved characters from franchises such as Star Wars, DC Comics, Marvel Comics, and Lord of the Rings, this collection celebrates Sideshow's astonishing ability to capture the essence of archetypal characters from their phenomenal art pieces. A collectible in its own right, this elegant book represents the artistic culmination of Sideshow's ambition and vision. Wow, that's a, that's a great read-up. Uh, this book was pub published by the folks over at Insight Editions, and uh, the retail price of this U.S. will be uh, $50. Having said that, let's open the book up here. And, uh, well, a good way to start the, the book is a picture of Dr. Doom. Uh, when we flip over the page, we've got Capturing Archetypes, 20 Years of Sideshow Collectibles Art. A picture of Iron Man there as well. It says, from the start, I viewed Sideshow as my storytelling partners. They are an intrinsic part of the way my films reach an audience, the way they attempt to leave a cultural footprint. Uh, a foreword, again, by Del, uh, Galero Del Toro, which carries over to the other side there, uh, Coincidentally enough, a picture of um, one of the pieces that Sideshow produced, the uh, Hellboy. On the next page, we've got Tom Gilliland, creative director and Sideshow Collectibles, or creative director at Sideshow Collectibles, a, a small read-up. Some collect the, f the fearsome as a way of conquering their own fears. Others collect heroes as an example to follow. And a brief, a brief read-up here from Tom Gilliland. Now, when we start... When we flip over the page, we now start seeing some of the artwork that Sideshow Collectibles has been producing uh, since their inception. Some of these uh, Star Wars pieces there. And there's a picture of Batman. We're seeking justice, Alfred. How can that ever be a mistake? Now, Spot's not going to go through every single page. More importantly, I just don't want to. I don't want to show you guys every single thing because it's it's a book that you most definitely want to be picking up. Uh, for example, there is a picture of one of the characters from Fantasia, and there's a really nice picture of Black Cat. Um, as my only one thing, I wish this book had uh, had. As you, as you progress through the pages, and I want to talk about this one in a second, as you progress through the pages, you'll get this um, incredible high-def imagery of, their, of the artwork that they've produced. I think to, um, to properly do this book justice, I kind of wish that there was a read-up right here. Perhaps just a brief read-up on the character, but more importantly, a read-up on uh, when this figure was produced. Uh, and what format it was produced under. Perhaps, it, like, um, Kratos here looks like as if it's a statue piece. So putting it as the format of a statue, and perhaps when it was released. The reason why I say that is because uh, one thing I like about this book is it really shows some of the highest points that Sideshow created on their pieces. Like, some of the pieces in here are the, the cream of the crop, but I would love to have known when some of these pieces were released. Like, I had no idea Kratos was released as a premium format a statue. 
had I known, and I do know now, I will likely want to be picking this guy up. He is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's a picture of Gambit and Rogue. It's in the past, Shere. We're both, we've both got past. And I think those appear to be, I want to, I think they're actually both statute format, uh, uh, statute pieces. Some imagery from st some of the Star Wars pieces they produced. It's a great picture of Catwoman. And there's Darth Vader. There's Stormtroopers. I love this image right here. If there, I'm gonna see if I can. I'd love to find a way to get this as an image I could put up on my wall. That's a gorgeous piece. Now, this is a statue that Sideshow had produced. There's Indiana Jones, Captain America. There's Hitman. Again, a uh, you know, the absence of space definitely adds to the photography work that they did on these pieces. This book. Is, is just, again, gorgeous to look through. But even if just a small read-up right here telling you when this piece was released, um, you know, and what format this figure was, or whether it was a figure or, you know, a statue, that would be a nice, uh, would have been a nice added touch. Picture of a Black Panther, Snake Eyes. There's a great picture there of the Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, Probably, again, another piece that I would love to pick up and add to my collection. In some ways, this book is uh, is going to be the death of me because I'm looking through some of the pages here and I'm just looking and I'm thinking to myself, wow, I wouldn't mind adding that piece to my collection. Or I'm looking at... What's another piece in here? Like the Scarlet Witch and Vision. Again, uh, beautiful pieces. Loving... This is probably one of my favorite images in the book, the Red Skull. Looking at this, it's like, you know what, I, if I can find the means to try to pick up something like this, I definitely want to uh, get, like, Red Skull. But it's, it, it's remarkable. I had no idea the level, the number of pieces that Sideshow had produced. The beauty of something like this book is, again, it covers every... Uh, every medium, really every every different property that they handled. You know, you have Lord of the Rings on one end, Vlad the Impaler on another. So again, it's just a it's a great contrast to be flipping each page, and you got you know Vlad the Impaler, the Ring Wraith, and then you've got the cast of the X Men. Um, again, Spot won't go through every single page. There's um, the Baroness that Spot's already reviewed. I'm not going to go through every single page, but I just want to give you guys a good idea of what you're going to be getting in this book. Um, this Wolverine probably is also my, my favorite piece from this book. The, the level of photography in it, I mean, you can see like all the individual texture marks, which not it really is just a testament to the photography, but it certainly is a testament to the fact that they produced this piece. And I love this piece as well, the darkness. What is light without dark? Tim Curry's, if you ask me, Tim Curry's finest work. Um, but we will, again, I won't I won't show you every single page. There's a picture of Boba Fett. Um, this is definitely a book that you would want to add to your collection. There's Avatar there as well. Um, Spot had absolutely no idea the level, the number of pieces that Sideshow Collectibles has produced. So this book is really a love to the fans. I've been collecting Sideshow pieces probably maybe in the last two years or so, and I had no idea to the scope of what Sideshow was producing. Caption Archetypes is a fan, a love letter really to the fans, and gives you an, a real idea of all the pieces that they have produced as a company. The only thing, again, I wish was there's, there would be some sort of read-up on the inside, but some of the finest photography I've seen on, on art pieces are in this book here. Uh, again, this book, I believe, is going to be released this month, and uh, if you are definitely interested in Sideshow Collectibles, you definitely would want to be picking this book up. Today's book spot, we're having a look at Capturing Archetypes, 20 Years of Sideshow Collectibles Art. Stay tuned, guys. This spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you guys next time.